Tonight, on this September 11th, the nation pauses and remembers what happened here 20 years ago. Across the country, Americans gathered in groups large and small. At the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, a field in Pennsylvania, in parks and at firehouses, celebrating those who ran toward the danger and remembering those who lost their lives. Robert J. Bell. Shelly A. Marshall. C.C. Ross. Lyons. Stephen Lamancia. Commander Robert A. Slagle. Donald Freeman. Kevin W. Yoakum. Presidents, past and present, paying tribute today. We remember your loss. We share your sorrow. George Bush's emotional call for a return to civility. The new developments today in the war fought in 9-11's wake. And the new divisions in the country as we face a new threat two decades after we all united in the face of another one. A nation forever changed by that day. Tonight, the country fulfills its promise to never forget. This is NBC Nightly News with Lester Holt. America remembers 20 years later. Good evening, everyone. The gleaming buildings that have risen here at the World Trade Center site have erased the physical scars of destruction from two decades ago. But today, on this 20th anniversary of the 9-11 attacks, we confronted the depths of the unhealed wounds to our hearts, unspeakable loss, moments that will never be, and wounds to our collective sense of safety and security. Today at the crash sites, here at the Pentagon and in Pennsylvania, families, survivors, and presidents celebrated the lives of victims and those who answered the call to duty. That's NBC Nightly News for this September 11th. Thank you for watching. I'm Lester Holt. Please take care of yourself and each other. Good night. Monday, Lester Holt kicks off an NBC News series exploring the future of space with rare access inside a NASA lab. Is what you're doing the pathfinder for putting people on Mars? Monday on NBC Nightly News with Lester.